Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Old Fort Wayne, located in Delaware County, Oklahoma, on October 22nd, 1862. Union General James G. Blunt was in command of elements of the 1st Division of the Army of the Frontier. This unit comprised of 3,500 men from the 2nd and 3rd Brigades. While the force was considered small, they were well-trained and equipped soldiers that General Blunt believed could defeat the more than 7,000 men that Confederate Colonel Cooper's 1st Choctaw, Chickasaw, and Lower Cree Regiment and Confederate Colonel Wadey's Cherokees had. Blunt believed the experience and equipment of his men would prevail. Blunt wanted to surprise the Confederates, so he ordered his men on a forced march of 25 miles to the night of October 21st. In an attempt to catch up and overtake the enemy, he even decided to not wait for the supply train that followed his force. He just kept going. On October 22nd, Blunt's troops found Cooper's command on Beatty's Prairie near Old Fort Wayne, two miles west of the Arkansas and Native American Territory border. Old Fort Wayne was an abandoned Union military garrison that hadn't had troops stationed there since before the war. Blunt saw that most of his men were exhausted from the forced march. However, he did not want to slow down, so he detached the 2nd Kansas Cavalry and moved with those troops to attack the Confederates near Fort Wayne, while leaving the majority of his force behind to rest and recoup almost seven miles away. The cavalry pushed back the Confederate picket troops in the Native American territory and ran into Cooper's main Confederate battle line. The Union troops held the Confederate troops while the rest of the Union troops mobilized and arrived to support the 2nd Kansas Cavalry. The Confederate troops put up a fight for more than half an hour when the Union forces opened a hole in the center of Cooper's line. This caused Cooper's untrained troops full of new recruits to break and retreat to the south side of the Arkansas River. The retreat was so fast and thorough that the Confederate troops left all their artillery and other heavy equipment behind as they retreated more than 70 miles. Estimated casualties were 14 Union soldiers killed, wounded, and missing, while the Confederates suffered 150 men that were killed, wounded, or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.